shooting the western skies at night is totally possible with a mobile phone. Absolutely wonderful new capabilities on this phones today. And he's not kidding either. We got amazing pictures of the night skies in the Black Hills of South Dakota at a recent photo workshop. Well, let me tell you, it was really dark when we started. I'm seeing some amazing pictures that I didn't think were capable on an iPhone. And now I'm gonna be pulling out my iPhone a lot more. So how do we do it? It's pretty simple. Night mode on the iPhone, expert raw on the Samsung Galaxy. Now the Samsung Galaxy later phones from the S20 on up have an add-on app called expert raw. And when you open that app up, you get to keep the shutter open for a longer period. My picture of the fire station with the Milky Way in the background was taken at 20 seconds. My wife Ruth took her picture on the iPhone in night mode, which is this automatic feature that just goes on when Apple decides that it is truly dark and you need the extra help. The good news is you can adjust the settings and keep the shutter open for seemingly as long as 30 seconds. And that's what you need to capture the stars in the background and the whole scene. Uh, my friend Barb did this wonderful, wonderful star trail shot using the third party app called Even Longer. And she was able to keep the shutter open for as long as a full hour, taking one picture every 15 seconds. And that's how she got the effect. Uh, do know that tripods are mandatory. You cannot get pictures like this without a tripod. Yes, you got to have it on a tripod. You walk up almost in total dark, set up your camera, um, get into your even longer app, set up your the time, and then you set the increments. And then the even longer app does the work for you on figuring it. And you keep your lights off and you hit the hit the shutter button and you walk away for one hour. Also remember, you kind of need a dark sky. You won't find that everywhere. We were in a remote area of South Dakota that has particularly dark skies. Having lights on would have ruined the image. So places uh, like Joshua Tree, the Badlands of South Dakota, uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, these are great places with wonderful skies, That New Mexico as well. Give it a try. It's a pretty simple thing to do as, well, as long as you're willing to have a tripod and do lots of trial and error. We took these pictures around between 10 p.m. and midnight. So you need to, to put in the time. Uh, as we get to the winter months, you can do it earlier because it'll be dark earlier. Yeah, mobile phones, it's really interesting. I was out just shooting in uh, Utah uh, with, a, with uh, somebody at a conference and they had a, a Z9, you know, one of the best cameras out there to shoot uh, night photography. And uh, we're doing low level light painting. We're lighting up the subject and uh, it was looking really great on the Z9, but I, I had showed them they had a Samsung S23 and I busted out mine and showed them the astrophotography mode. They had never seen it before where it tracks the sky over four minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes. And uh, it was funny because they ended up uh, taking the rest of the night and putting down their Z9 and shooting with their Samsung. So have fun out there. Don't forget the tripod. Don't forget your patience because you'll be standing around for a while. Uh, if you haven't already, please do me a favor. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment on this video. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Now, would it be a cliche if I ended this video by saying happy trails?